Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the intersect operator. So one word of advice before we get started, um, this is not an ANSI SQL feature, so this is something that's very specific to Microsoft SQL Server, so um, if you're not interested in Microsoft SQL Server then this video might not be of value to you, so uh, just that disclaimer before we get started. So let's dive right in. What is the intersect? The intersect is a T-SQL operator. Similar to a join, you have a table on the left and you might have a table on the right hand side and by putting that intersect operator in, be in between the two, um, you effectively are requesting the DBMS to output only records from table A um, that happen to also exist in table B. So essentially you're interested in looking at which data points among these two tables intersect. In theory, it is very similar to an inner join, but it is definitely not to be confused with an inner join, which we'll get to in a minute. So to give you an example, we have our environment set up here. So we have two tables, table A and table B. Uh, I'm just going to quickly run each one, each of these queries so you can see the content. So table A has a field for letter and one for value. And then for table B, we just have one field that says letter. So in our example, what we're going to be doing is um, performing a select on table A, intersecting that with table B, and the output that we would get as a result would be just the data points that happen to coincide or intersect. So we're going to go ahead and form our query here. We're going to do a select star from table A, intersect, select star from table B. And I want you to see that this is going to result in an error and it's very important to understand why. So this is the error message that I get. And it's regarding the fact that, you know, when, when you're doing an intersect, you have to name or you have to have the same table structure. So again, you know, table A had two columns while table B had only one column. So it's really important for us to identify and ensure that, you know, we're comparing apples to apples. So since table A only had one field that we could really match up to table B, which is the letter field, um, the right way to do this is just to reference that field. So now if we run our query, this is the output we get. So we only see data points that happen to appear in both table A and table B. Um, everything else, you know, it completely disregards. So just going back to our notes again, um, it's very important to understand the difference between an intersect and an inner join because uh, they do have very, um, you know, similar outputs. Um, so primarily the main differences between the intersect and the inner join is for one, um, the intersect is, you know, basically an operator, whereas the inner join is a type of join. In addition, with an intersect, it will exclude null values, whereas with an inner join, it will include null values. And finally, with an intersect, it will remove duplicates, whereas with an inner join, it will include duplicates wherever they happen to exist. So that's all I have guys. Um, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If so, please give the video a like. Um, if you have any other questions or content you'd like to have created, please leave a comment below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thank you.